Tick, tick, boom. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to What Up Clean Show. I'm talking about all kinds of things, how to fix the build and maintain it. And today we're going to be talking about not a product review, but kind of a review, but more of a uh, of a project. Now you see my uh, video where I've done the uh, comparison between the Trinity slot machine 17.5T, the version one. This right here is the certified motor, and I compared it against the uh, Trinity Double Down 17.5, the outlaw motor. Um, in this video, I'm going to see what happens if I interchange parts and what parts I can interchange. So, uh, let's say we uh, take these things apart and uh, go learn something. So, if you look at the specs on these motors, um, they're virtually identical. Uh, the, the casing and stuff like that, they're all identical. The uh, the timing, the end bells are the same. Everything is the same. The, only, the biggest difference between the two from looking at them is, without opening them up, is the slot machine. It has a TEP, that TEP 1119 rotor. The Dovenow has a TEP 1149 rotor. Uh, the Trinity's rotor is a certified roar stock class motor. Um, for stock racing the one in the double down this is a rotor that's designed for modified motors so that's a uh, one thing is not is not uh, legal for racing in stock class but I want to know if we can take this rotor out and put it into this motor uh, basically swap rotors and see what the performance difference on, is on these motors so Let's go ahead and take them apart, swap them around, and if there's any other parts in here I can swap around, I'll do it. Uh, I'm sure I could swap out the end bells. I don't know, maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe we'll try both. All right, let's get to it. So I have the motors put back together again. Um, I shimmed them all up, I timed them. All the other good stuff, uh, I think they're both about five, somewhere around 5.6 amps on the timing. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you a, the freewheeling on it, on both of them, so you can see what the difference is on how the RPMs change and stuff like that just by swapping out the rotors. That's the only thing I did with this, is swapped out the rotors. So, let's start off with the, uh, <clears throat> let's do the double down first. All right, we'll run a auto run so you can see basically how it does freewheeling. Okay, we have a uh, 5.35 amps, 26.79 kV. It's about 49.5 degrees. And then you have the uh, <clears throat> a, B, and C time right there. The end bell deviation is 0.5. Rotary is symmetry and hall signal deviation is 2.3 and 2.4. And it's running at 79 degrees on that run. So, there you go. Um, let's go ahead and run a uh, RPM test. Go ahead and run about. 20,100 and some change. So 21,100 and some, about 20,150, 20, about that. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, pop the slot machine in there. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to know where I get these motor mounts from, uh, they're from uh, WMH Racing. I don't remember how much they cost. But I think they're somewhere around 20, 30 bucks, somewhere around there. I don't know, I could be wrong. All right, slot machine's in there. Let's go ahead and run an auto test. Well, 
Okay, it is uh, 5.3 amps for the uh, slot machine. KV is 3,000 on the nose. End bell timing is 50.1. End bell deviations 0.8. And then we have rotary symmetry 0.9 and then 1.5. Man, those are some good numbers. Really good numbers. Um, let's go ahead and do the RPM test. About 22,465, somewhere around there. And it, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, so now I'm going to run it through all the gears. I won't uh, bore you guys by videoing every single test. Uh, most of you probably already <clears throat> jumped to the end, anyways. Look at the numbers on the on the sheet. So. Anyhow, let me go ahead and run these motors uh, and uh, run these pinions on the motors and then I'll share the numbers afterwards. <clears throat> Alright, so I went through all the gears, <clears throat> through all the pinions, and uh, the, I'm on the 41 tooth now using the slot machine. So I want to show you the. Uh, when I run it, I'll let you guys listen to the different variations and the speeds that it has and so you can hear how it runs. And I'll show you the numbers here. All right, has a 15.66 amps. 2647 kV and the end bell is 46.2. It went through it pretty well. It didn't seem like it was hesitating too much. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll now run the double down and I'll put everything in the numbers. But when I get to this point on the 41 tooth, the double down, I'll, I'll let you guys view that one as well, just like this one. So, okay, I just ran the double down, the, I just ran the double down through all the gears 27 through uh, 32. Um, I'm on the 41 tooth now. I'll run it on the uh, auto mode so you guys can see how it goes through the uh, various speeds. So go ahead and fire this up. All right, uh, 13.33 amps, 2401 kV, 52 degrees. Then build deviation, all the other shabang bang. Uh, 0.5 degrees for the uh, end build deviation and the rotors asymmetry and hall signal deviation is all really good. So 2.5, 2.5, and then temperature is 109. All right, so let me go ahead and run the RPM on this, and then I'll put everything on the spreadsheet and I'll share my spreadsheet next and then give you my final thoughts. Okay, the good part. Here's the numbers right here laid out. Um, I spared you guys having to go through, watch me change every single gear out. Um, it was a long process. Uh, seven gears with uh, two motors. That'd be a long video. Anyhow, uh, before we get into the numbers, I like to put my disclaimer out there. I know that there's tens of thousands of different racers out there, so there's going to be tens of thousands of different opinions on what these numbers mean. What I'm going over and what I'm explaining these numbers being is simply my personal opinion. If anybody else has a different opinion, please share it with us. Drop down in the comments se section. Share your knowledge. We'd love to hear it. Um, so, first off, the uh, amperage here on, on the two. You have the slot machine at the top, double down right here. 5.31 amps, 5.35 amps. I did not do that on purpose. They're just, when I was tuning them, they just happened to come out at the pretty darn near the same. Um, but yeah, the, the slot machine certified motor that I put the double down rotor inside of it. Uh, the rotor that is in this one right now that came in the double down is the TEP 1149. The double down has the slot machine certified motor rotor in it. 
and that rotor number is TEP 1119. Um, so start off with the uh, slot machine. It's, it had a, a free spin. is a pretty good uh, RPM, pretty decent. 22,465. It drops down to 19,000 when I put under a low for 27 tooth, but then uh, of course it starts to go up. Um, the amp draw, it's it's a little high right here, but then it starts to at the initial power, it's it's high. The amp draw is high, but then it just kind of levels out a little bit. It's kind of weird. Uh, KV the temperatures also I mean they they shot up as soon as I got up here to the 29 tooth They shot up, but they leveled out and then when I went to the 41 tooth I ran it for 20 seconds uh, Just like the rest of them it actually dropped down in temperature versus the uh, 32 tooth. So that was That was a little odd. So I must have hit the sweet spot on that motor um, The Double down. This is one that was really interesting. Um, look at the amp draw on it. It's, I mean, there's there's single digits all the way up until you get 32 tooth. Then it goes to 10 amps, and then it's 13 amps on the 41. And the temperatures right here show that this motor was not. It wasn't being strained at all. It was just humming along. The temperatures there. Uh, so how does it compare to their original form? Um, the double down you see here, it stays a single digit until it gets about 29 degrees or 29 tooth. And then once you get the 30 tooth, it jumps and doubles right here. It didn't jump up until 32 tooth and it, uh, 41, um, uh, tooth on there, 13.25 amps. This right here is uh, 1318 amperage, a little less amp draw with a higher RPM. So this right here starts to catch up to this one here. Uh, you see the the KV is almost identical. The you have the temperature here is 112, where over here is 108. So that means that with this one here, it it wasn't as stressing out as much as it was here. There's not much uh, power being exerted to spin that motor, spin that load. So if I was to if I was at a track where I could run a high speed track and I was able to run a double down outlaw, I would probably swap it out for the. Uh, the light the lighter rotor uh, if you remember right the rotors on the double down was in the 1800s and this one right here the the slot machine was uh, around 17 1700 something in the high 1700s um the slot machine how it fared from the from its counterpart right there you have it it dropped less with the double down rotor in there. It dropped less uh, RPMs. But then when you get up here in the higher gearing, you see that it's 16.49 versus 15.66. And it's a little bit slower, but it looks to me like you can add another tooth at least maybe two i would probably say two teeth on the uh trinity with the double down rotor the uh temperatures are the same but uh so yeah anyways that's again the double down rotor um it's listed as being a modified rotor rotor from a modified motor so i guess this is what you call a cheater motor right here that slot machine if uh, you have a track and they don't check motor, they don't check the rotors what you have in there and break them down. So, anyhow, that's how you have it. There's the difference of them. Uh, I can make it smaller so you can see them. 
kind of zoom in, zoom out, whatever. See them all on one page. And then uh, there's the other ones at the top there. Then uh, that one there. So anyhow, uh, it's a good experience uh, to find out what a modified rotor would do in a stock motor. Now we know. Now you know. I uh, hope this is, uh, video was informative for you. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, hit the like and subscribe anyway so you can make fun of all my other videos. All right, everybody, you take care.